Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Paper Mario. We just finished up with Chapter 2, and uh, I think we go see Merlin again after we do all that fun stuff. This, uh, this doesn't activate. Do oh no, we don't go see Merlin. Uh, duh, we go find the next heart pillar with what pixels we got. Now, if I remember correctly, take the same path, starting the same path, but get your butt up here. And, uh, obviously, uh, switch to Boomer. Make stuff happen. Um, now you're other, on the other side of where that first heart pillow was. And you get to traverse a little bit. Woohoo. Now coming up the next chapter, chapter three, if I'm... Oh. Never mind. This, that block is for a, um, optional pixel that you can potentially get down the road. I, if I am correct, you are not able to get them yet. But... If I am able to get it, you'll see it like a later video. Excuse me, wind outside. It's raining outside. I like to have the window open while it's raining because it's very... Well, I like it. Uh, I guess just go down the... Um, let's go on an adventure, children. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Come along for the ride. Ugh. I love it when I don't know where I'm going. Don't you love it? And yeah, you still can't do that. Herp -di -dir -di -dir -di -dir. Oh, look at that void. Isn't it so big and beautiful? And God, if something like that appeared in the sky in real life, I'd be mortified. Anyway. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. You die. How do you not die and... Oh, you... Wow, I might want to heal soon. Um... Yeah, blow up for me and go down there. Please and thank you. Oh. I love you. I don't like these enemies. Oh. That was... I just like using it. I don't care. And then do that. And you can do that as well. Is there any significance about this block? No. Um, what you look at you can do over there. Yay, I'm like paper thick. Get the hell in there. Oh, goody. That was easy. Next heart pillar. Cool. Ooh, now what I was saying earlier, coming up, one of my favorite worlds in this entire game, the Bitlands. You'll see why. Mm -mm. This is easily my, my most favorite world in the game. And I guess I'll meet you back at the, uh, at the tower. Real quickly, before I go back to the clock tower, um, I I can't remember if I, you know, I'm even supposed to be stumbling upon what I'm stumbling upon, but uh, yeah, I went down the pipe that you saw right before I got the heart pillar, and now I am uh, here. God. F ugh. Yeah, I'm trying hard not to cuss anymore. Sorry. Only cuss when it's necessary. And what does this go to? I totally, totally don't remember. Um. Oh, I know what this is. That is the flip side pit of a hundred trials. If you wait a minute. Oh my underground yeah, I'm just revealing all the secrets. With the flip side pit of a hundred trials, basically, 
You play Thousand Year Door, you get the um, dealio of what that is. Um, I'm just revealing all sorts of secrets right now. But the flip side pit of 100 tiles is basically um, like 100 rooms, 100 enemies. Um, that's for a different pixel later. Um, you get the deal if you've played Thousand Year Door. It just gets progressively harder. You get boss battles. I can't remember the item you get for Flipside Pit of 100. Phone! I'll leave you alone. Uh, I can't remember what you get from it. But, you know, it's there for an extra challenge. I might do that. I might not. And apparently this is a, um, a store that has a lot of stuff. Um, I don't really want any of this. So yeah, that's apparently some secret fun time shop that, you know, has a changing inventory and has some fun items. I don't know. But yes, I'm done repeating myself over the flip side pit of 100 trials. Now let's get the holy mother of hell out of here. Um, I think this, this is like a bar game corner type of thing. Uh, we're gonna ignore that for now and just go back to the, uh, tower. Look at that. Secret elevator. Lol. Well, I'll meet you guys back at the tower. Alright, back here at the tower. Oh, let's enter the Bitlands. Let's just get right into it. Mario and his new friends open the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merle's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Chapter 3 1 When Geeks Attack. Already, the title should tell you kind of what it has to do with it. If you've played this game, this chapter is pretty hilarious. I just love the overall design of this too. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? What? Oh. Um. <laughs> I technical. I got a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends at Digimutter dot are going to freak out when they get a word of this find. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of Negronis Chronicles. No way am I going to trust my digital recorder meow to tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical. Yes, that's that's um you'll find out who that is later. But uh, you know. Whoa, ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess it's a wrap for that pixel. Not that that freak Francis has got her. Oh, goody. Talk to the bush. Whoa, Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. That geek that grabbed her? Francis. Basically the erd the erd. The nerd to end all nerds. Plus he's got this thing for butterflies, and well, all things nerdy too. If he gets his sweaty nuts and something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his big fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Well now, you wanna know where Fort Francis is? Well if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd land rescuing her, are you? Uh, duh. Look, nobody likes having the butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Still set on that. What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. Here's your first tip. The bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. 
you do your thing with that red X mark and maybe something will happen for you. That means you use Boomer. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns at the castle, you'll see an ocean. You can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Get all that? Good. You be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. And by come back and tell me how you did it, it means come back and collect that pixel. I'll tell you about that pixel when it comes time to um, collect it. Which will be at the end of chapter 3. You just punch the Um, why did I do it like that? No! Thank you. Ah! Okay, how do I kill you, sir? Can I just do this? Yeah, I can just do that. And nothing, really, for my efforts. Or, uh, lack thereof. Um, that just tells you you need to go up there for some phantasmical reason. And that's why. What is in here? Anything fun? Hey, what are you? Oh my! Let you die. Uh, fudge my butt. How do I get up there? I don't know. Use Peach, you dumbass. Ah! How about you not chop my butt? Oh my god! That just happened. <laughs> that really just happened. Wow. OMG. Holy Jesus. Floating along, floating along the landscape. Floating, 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 floating. What are you? Catch card SP. Um... Give me that, throw that back for a sec, and give me, um, shit, 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 really, you, uh, fine, take the courage shell and shove it up your ass, is there, there's nothing else back here, okay, okay, now we get to float back. Float faster, you skank. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Really stupid idea. Alright. Now, over here. Oh, perfect. Now you get to see 8-bit, uh... Superstar Peach thing. Of course, they take the sprite, of course, from SMB1, where she looks horrible. Kill everything. Now Peach gets to do some rape. Look at this massive rape. Look at all that. Rape. Lots of it, dude. And I think, whoa. Um, fuck, I forgot about this.
I can't remember if you kill him or can kill him or not. Yeah, you can. Oh, <laughs> uh, win. Come on. I'm trying to use the pointer controls, but apparently God hates me. Really? I can't use pointer controls? Or I could have just done that. And there's a siren outside. Wow. Someone's dying. Now it's being overkill with the bleeding. Um, wrong way. Aww. Um. Okay, I don't like that I can't point. What the fudge? What's this? Fall in between the red pipes. That's what that said. Fall in between the red pipes. Ooh, excuse me. Came with a prize. So I guess either way, we did need to go that way. Because it told us something we needed to know. And since this is a save block here, I'm going to take advantage of it, and I'm going to do this.